Hi, Arnie here from CustomWorks. We're going to go over the front width adjustments on the carb with the axle spacer and the locations that it mounts on the chassis and what that'll do for your particular tracks. On the axles we have those eighth inch um, nylon spacers that help you space the tire inboard or outboard on the axle. This being the, the spacer that we use on the axle. And by moving the tire in or out on the axle we can change uh, very quickly uh, the at whole attitude of how the car is driving. With the right front, if we keep it all the way in, the car will be most aggressive to turn into the center of the corner. When we move the tire out on the axle, and that's by putting, you know, putting the shim behind the bearing, when we move it out, it'll make the car much more numb on entry. So if your car is very uh, aggressive turning in or a little twitchy down the straightaway, put in, adding the spacer to the inside of the tire and spacing the right front out will help numb the car up. The opposite can pretty much be true with the left front. With the left front, if we move it outward, it'll make the car turn more in the center. If we keep it tucked in, the car will be more um, stable center off the corner. It won't want to it won't want to turn the center near as much. By moving these out on the axle, when the tires turn, how much further the tire is out, out on the axle on the right front or on the left front will adjust how, also how much more weight is jacked in or out of the car. So by moving the left front out on the axle, when we turn it because of the caster and the kick up in the front suspension, it's going to jack more weight out of the car and that also helps turn the car more in the center with steering input. With the right front moving it out when you turn the car, it also will unjack the car some but it still primarily will numb the car up on entry. As typical with the CustomWorks cars, we give you a various uh, locations to mount your suspension assembly so you can tune your car um, more for what your particular track type is. Some tracks are always dry and slick, some place, areas of the country have more bite, so this helps set the, you, know, you build the kit for what's best in your area. And the same holds true for what we spoke about on the axle spacing for the uh, location of where you mount your front ends uh, locations. Turning the car over, you can see we have three locations and right now we're in the middle on both. It's not allowable by the kit, but if you would move the front end full narrow, by narrowing both sides, you're going to get more, the car will get more aggressive. If we were to widen the car equally, it'll give the car more stability it won't transfer as much weight when the car to, tries to roll, so it won't corner as hard, but it'll give a lot more stability to not um, um, roll on, on higher grip setups. By moving just the right front out, it also will be get the same similar setup as um, making the whole front end wider. It'll make the car more numb to the center, and it'll help it drive off the corner a little bit more. If we were to take the left front and move it out, same as moving the left front tire on the axle out, the car will turn more in the center and off the corner. You'll lose a lot of forward drive, but for a lot of the 13.5 and 17.5 classes, using the outer hole with the middle hole is actually a pretty fast setup. The difference in having it mounted here versus doing it on the axle all the time is when you turn the, turn the wheels, you don't have the extra jacking effect with the tire being so far out on the axle. Changing the front width locations using the axle is more of a setup adjustment that you'll use uh, for your in particular heat race, whether the track is dry or wet or you know, has bite or doesn't have bite. Choosing different options on the chassis is more particular for that kind of track or for your location or for your preference. So adjusting on the axle is daily, you know, every, you know, your, every race adjusting the width location on the chassis is for a particular track or your particular style. It's, it's, it's big as changing the tire compound that you have. It's, it's going to be a major factor uh, and not something that you do typically between heats or over a given day. For more information and other racing tips, check out our other videos on CustomWorksRC.com.